Ideally, you practice this outside. Begin to become sensitive on the feel of a location. Could be on your balcony, and you're looking out, or if you have a yard, but ideally go outside into nature. Sit still, then try to get a feel from each object. So take a tree or a plant, you can take a flower at home, so you relax, you don't go forward, you don't grasp, you don't reach out to the plant or the tree or the rock. You imagine that the flower or the tree or the rock comes to you as if its energy presents itself to you. Sometimes it helps if you trace the contours of the object. You go around a tree. You go around a flower. You trace in your imagination the contours of a rock. There's an energy to each object. Some people feel it. Some people sense a vibration or a frequency. Every little, every living object has a spirit to it. Spirit in the sense of its own energy, its own feel. No two trees are alike. No two plants are alike. Each one is unique. Can you feel the difference between one plant and the one next to it? Between one tree and the one behind it? You don't make up stories. You just be quiet, be open and invite them into your awareness. Can you get a feel from the form? Can you sense the energy, the vibration? Many cultures would say, every living thing, including a rock or a mountain, has a spirit to it. And what that means in Kumne is that it has a feel to it an energy. It's so nice when you begin to notice that. It is as if this feeling that is coming from the object has some knowing in it some information. Listen. Feel. Do the same with a pond, a lake, the ocean or the sea. Each locale has a feel to it. Let it communicate with yours.